Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video from mathematics subject, algebraic expressions topic we are going to discuss. So up to 22 questions already we have completed children. Let's start with next question, 23rd. And the question is, so what should be subtracted from 4x cube plus 8x square plus 8x plus 7 to make it divisible by 2x square minus x plus 1. So from this uh, expression, what should be subtracted to make it divisible by this? Means this expression, suppose if it is p of x, it is not completely divisible by g of x. If p of x is divided by g of x, some remainder will come. If we subtract the remainder from the p of x, then it will be divided completely by the g of x. So, first we have to divide these two and we have to find the remainder. That remainder to be subtracted from the given expression to make it completely divisible. So, according to long division method, so here let us take uh, this expression here. The expression which is to be divided is taken here and uh, uh, with what we are doing division, this is taken here. With this uh, term, we have to, with the first term of divisor, we have to divide first term of uh, dividend 4x cube by 2x square that equal to 2, 2 times 4, x square cancel, 1x will remain. So, 2x is the first term will in the quotient, 2x will be the first term in the quotient. With 2x, we have to multiply all the terms, 2x into 2x square, 4x cube, 2x into minus x, minus 2x square, 2x into 1, 2x. Let us uh, change all the signs, 4x cube minus 4x cube cancel, 8x square plus 2x square, 10x square, plus 8x minus 2x, plus 6x, we can carry down the next term which is 7. So now, this will become the dividend, this remainder will become the dividend and in this first term, 10x square, we have to divide with the divisor first term, 2x square, x square, x square cancel, 2, 5 times 10. So, this 5 will be the second term in the quotient. With 5, we have to multiply all. 5 into 2x square, 10x square. 5 into minus x, minus 5x. 5 into 1, 5. And 10x square, minus 10x square cancel. Plus 6x, minus 5x, 11x. 7 minus 2, 2. So, 11x plus 2 is the reminder. This is to be subtracted to make this expression completely divisible by this expression. So, answer C option 11x plus 2 is the correct answer. So, next divide minus 16 a to the power of 4 b cube c square by 4 a square b square c. 4 4 times 16 a square cancel out of a power 4 square will cancel a square will remain b square 2 b's cancel 1 b will remain 1 c cancel 1 c will remain 4 a square b c option b is the correct answer sorry minus we have minus here minus 4 a square b c option d is the correct answer next divide this expression by 2 y square we have 16y to the power of 4 minus 8y cube minus 4y square divided by 2y square. So, 2 into 8 or separately, we can write separately 16y power 4 by 2y square minus 8y cube by 2y square minus 4y square by 
2y square. So 2 8 times 16. So y square cancel, 1y square will remain 8y square. So uh, 2 4 times 8, y square cancel, 1y, rem 1y will remain 4y. Uh, 8y square minus 4y. Here 2 2 times 4 minus 2, y square y square cancel. So 8y square minus 4y minus 2. So option B is the correct answer. Next, the value of this term into this term, total. Multiplication symbol is there. If you multiply, total product will become one term. So, 5, 5 times 25, 12, 2 times 24, p square, 1p, 1p, p square, cancel, 1q, 1q, cancel. In the numerator part, r is there. In denominator, p is there. Here, 2 into 5, 10. 10 r by p. Option B is correct. Next, if a, a minus 1 by a equal to 2, then a square plus 1 by a square, how much? So, they have given a minus 1 by a equal to 2. If you square on both sides, a minus 1 by a whole square equal to 2 square, which is equal to 4. But for this, the formula is a square, a square plus b square, 1 by a whole square minus 2ab, 2 into a into 1 by a. According to identity, identity, we have this formula, a square, 1 by a square, a gets cancelled, 2 into 1, 2, minus 2 equal to 4, or 2 will come right hand side, a square plus 1 by a square equal to 4 plus 2 equal to 6. So, option A is correct. Next, a square minus 1 by a square is same as a square. 1 by a square can be written as 1 by a whole square. This is the form of a square minus b square, uh, which is equal to a plus b into a minus b. a plus b into a minus b. a plus 1 by a into a, plus a minus 1 by a. So, this is wrong. Both are minus wrong. 1 minus 1 plus. Correct. Option C is correct. Both are plus wrong. So, option C is correct. Next, the value of 16.1 square minus 8.9 square, how much? So, 16.1 square minus 8.9 square, how much? So, we have shortcut. Uh, we can use this formula a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. According to this formula, this can be simplified as 16.1 plus 8.9 into 16.1 minus 8.9. So, 16.1 plus 8.9 equal to 25 into 16.1 minus 8.9. From 1, we cannot remove 9. From, if you take 1 borrow, from 11, 9 goes means 2. Point downside, point down, point. Here 15 will be there. 15 minus 8, 7. 7.2 or 25 into 7.2 means 72 by 10 we can write 72 by 10 uh, 5 5 times 25 5 2 times 10 5 into 2 36 times 72 so we can write 5 into 36 which is equal to 180 so option b 180 is the correct answer Next, x plus 3y whole square plus x minus 3y whole square is how much? So, x plus 3y whole square plus x minus 3y whole square. So, it is in the form of a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab, 2 into x into 3y plus, this is a minus b whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab, 2 into x into 3y. Here, 2 into x into 3y, 2 into x into 3y, 1 plus 1 minus, both are same but opposite sign, cancel. 
x square plus x square, 2 x square, 3 y whole square means 9 y square, 9 plus 9 y square equal to 18 y square. So, 2 x square plus 18 y square. So, option A is correct. Next year, x plus 1 by x equal to 3, then x square plus 1 by x square, how much? If you square on both sides, x plus 1 by x whole square equal to 3 square, which is equal to 9, 3 square equal to 9. If you expand this, a square, x square, b square, 1 by x whole square plus 2ab, 2 into x into 1 by x equal to 9. So, xx gets cancelled, plus 2 will go that side, it will become minus 2. So, then x square plus 1 by x square, if 2 goes that side, 9 minus 2, which is equal to 7. 7 is the answer. Next, run, the value of 10.2 into 9.8. 10.2 into 9.8, how much? 10.2 can be written as 10 plus 0 0.2 and 9.8 can be written as 10 minus 0 0.2. So, it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b, which means a square minus b square, which means 10 square minus 0 0.2 whole square. 10 square, how much? 100. 0 0.2 whole square how much? 0 0.04. 0 0.04 means 100 point here point after two decimals are there. 100 point 0 0 we can take. Downside 0 0.04 we have to remove. From 0 we cannot remove 4. We can take 1 borrow from 10. 4 goes means 6. Here 9 will be there. Point here 9 will be there. Here 9 will be there. 99.96. So, option D is correct. Next, if A B equal to 6, A plus B equal to 5, then A square plus B square, how much? So, if A B equal to 6, A plus B equal to 5, then A square plus B square, how much? So, A square plus B square means they have given a b value, a plus b value, a square plus b square we have to find. So, a plus b equal to 5 we have, if we square on both sides, a plus b whole square equal to 5 square, which is equal to 25, but a plus b whole square can be written as a square plus b square plus 2 a b equal to 25. In the place of a b, we can keep 6, a square plus b square plus 2 into a b means 2 into 6 equal to 25 a square plus b square equal to 2 into 6 means 12, 25 minus 12 which is equal to 13, 13 is the answer. Next, the product of x square plus x plus 1 and x square minus x plus 1 is, we have to multiply both, we have to multiply both or we can write it as or let us multiply 1 by 1, x square into x square, x power 4 plus x square into x, x cube plus x square into 1, x square minus x into x square minus x cube minus x into x minus x square minus x into 1 minus x plus 1 into x square plus x square plus 1 into x plus x plus 1 into 1 plus 1. So, plus x square minus x square cancel, plus x cube minus x cube cancel, minus x plus x cancel. What will remain? x power 4 plus x square plus 1 is remaining. Option B is correct. Next one, 35 goes on. Simplify 0 0.8m plus 1.1 n into 0 0.8 m minus 1.1 n. It is in the form of a plus b into a minus b, where the product equal to a square 0 0.8 m whole square 
minus uh, 1.1 n whole square a square minus b square 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 0.8 into 0 0.8 8 8 times 64 8 0 that's 0 6 0 8 times 0 0 into 0 0 so 4 6 0 is coming but after one decimal after one decimal after one after decimal one place after decimal point one place so after two decimal places we should keep point so 0 0.64 0 0.64 m square minus 1.1 into 1.1 in the same way if you multiply it will become 121 it will become 121 if you remove point 11 into 11 121 but after one point we have decimal so after point we have one decimal place uh, here and here so after point there should be two decimal places so 1.21 1.21 n square this is the answer. So, option C is correct. Next, if a plus b equal to 11, a b equal to 30, then the value of a square plus b square, how much? So, if we square on both sides, a plus b, a plus b whole square equal to 11 square, a plus b whole square means a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab equal to 11 square means 121 but uh, ab value is 30 so a square plus b square equal to 121 here in the place of ab if you keep 30 2 into 30 60 if it go towards the right hand side minus 60 121 minus 60 how much minus 61 sorry plus 61 61 is the answer, option A. Next. So, the value of A square by B square plus B square by A square, how much? Is how much? Uh, suppose the uh, if you have suppose if we take only a by b plus uh, b by a a by b plus b by a if we take only without squares a by b and b by a if we take them and if we square them then the value is equal to this is the form of a plus b whole square first term square a square by b square plus second term square b square by a square plus 2ab 2 into first term a by b second term b by a a gets cancelled b b gets cancelled here 2 will be there now they are asking this value if plus 2 goes this side it will become minus 2 so this is equal to a by b plus b by a whole square minus 2 so option a is correct Next one, 38 question, simplify, simplify. So, 856 plus 167 uh, plus 856 minus 167 whole square by 856 into 856 plus 167 into 167. So, here, so 856, so here uh, A plus B whole square a plus b whole square here uh, a minus b whole square if we add a plus b whole square and uh, a minus b whole square what will remain uh, 2a square plus 2b square will remain two a square plus 2b square will remain Here also again uh, a square, b square is there. If it is a, if it is b, if it is a, if it is b, 
again a square plus b square is there. So, okay, let us uh, it is in the form of uh, one minute, it is in the form of, if it is a, it is in the form of a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square by a into a, a square plus b into b, b square. If we simplify further, a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab plus a minus b whole square equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab by we have a square plus b square plus 2ab minus 2ab cancel a square plus a square 2a square b square plus b square 2b square by we have a square plus b square in the numerator part we can take 2 as common 2 bracket a square plus b square by downside we have a square plus b square, a square plus b square, a square plus b square cancel, answer will be 2. So, no need to consider the values. As per the formula, final answer will be 2. There may be any number, uh, we can we can change a value, we can change b value, but as long as they are in this form, their value is always 2. Next, if 2x minus 3y equal to 10 and xy equal to 8, then this value how much? 4x square plus 9y square how much? Let us square on both sides. Then a minus b whole square, which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab, 2 into 2x into 3y equal to right hand side, 10 square. So, 2x whole square means 4x square, 3y whole square means 9y square, 2 into 2 into 3, 2 to the 4, 4 3 to the 12, 12xy equal to 10. They are asking this value, they are asking this value minus 12 into xy how much? 96, 12 8 times 96, minus 96. If it goes towards right hand side, it will become 10 plus 96, which is equal to 106. This value will be equal to, oh sorry, 10 square means 100 here. 100 plus 96 equal to 196. 196 is the answer, option D. Okay, children, level 1 questions we have completed, children. So, level 2 we can, we will learn about in our next video. So, thank you for watching our video channel. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. You can visit our website aimstudy.in for information regarding online classes, quizzes, worksheets, activities, English classes, coding skill. Thank you children. Have a good day.